Hi, I'm Jen from Drum Nation. Drum Nation is a Sambo drumming band based in Kendall. We are a band full of drummers and we make so much loud, energetic music. This year, we are so excited because we're involved in Kendall Torchlight. So Torchlight's gonna look a little bit different this year. We're encouraging everybody to celebrate from your own homes and from your doorstep. And I'm here to show you just one way that you can get involved. Today, we're gonna make a handheld snare drum. These are the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need some rice, piece of paper folded in half, a plate or Tupperware lid for a container, that's fine. Some tape and some scissors. So here we go. First of all, you get your ice. Pour a little bit onto your plate. Not too much. About a tablespoon, okay? And then you get your paper folded in half and we're gonna just collect all of the little tiny grains of rice neatly in there. And that is what's gonna make our snare sound. Tape it securely down to your plate. And the reason that we fold it over is because it makes um, an extra good rattly sound with paper. Okay. Here we go. Hey. Okay, you're gonna start making your very own junk modeled drum. So here's what I need you to do. Go away and have a look all around your house for um, something that you're going to turn into a drum. It could be an old bucket, it could be the mop bucket, it could be a bowl. Remember, if you're going to become a family band, you might want to choose different sizes to make different noises for your band, okay? You're going to need a, a drum that you can make a high sound with and a low sound. Dum, 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 dum. Now you've found your household object that you're going to make into your drum, the first thing you need to do is make sure that it hasn't got any handles on it. So you're going to take apart any handles or any things that are on your, your drum so you've got a nice clear space. I'm going to use this as my big drum and I'm going to show you how to put the skin on. So you're going to need parcel tape and duct tape. Don't worry too much if you can't find duct tape but you definitely need parcel tape and this is going to make the skin for your drum. So, we're going to stretch the tape across the diameter of our drum. And it's very important that you have a nice tension. So you might really need to pull your tape down and make sure there's a nice lot of tension on there. And then with your scissors, put it and stick it down. We're going to work round our drum crisscross to cover it all in tape and that is our first skin so here we go okay i'm just going to put one last piece on to cover this last gap and finish our drum this just makes the sound um, contained within the drum, so it makes the sound really nice and loud and booming for your drum. Okay, that's the first skin finished. So now we're going to put the second skin on and we're just going to use some uh, duct tape for this. If you haven't got duct tape, that's totally fine. You can still use your parcel tape. And again, you're just going to crisscross, making sure there's some nice tension on your drum skin. our second skin and our drum is ready to play. So now we've finished our drum, it's time to decorate it. Now you can just find anything that you have lying around at home. You can use paint and paper, but today I'm just going to use a little bit of fabric. So I've got some red ribbon here and I'm just going to start off by wrapping it around our drum.
it's time to get drumming. This is a beater and it makes a really nice deep sound on our drum skin. These are drumsticks and they make a bit of a harder sound on our drum skin. But you might not have these at home. Don't worry, you can go and have a look around and you might find a wooden spoon which works really well or a paintbrush handle. So once you've found your drumsticks, it's time to learn some rhythms. Okay, here we go. We're going to learn three different rhythm patterns today and these are just really simple things to get you focused and practicing on your drumming. So with our drumming, you just play hand to hand, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and you just play in beats of four. So I'm going to show you now. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The second rhythm pattern that we're going to look at is where we play our four beats, but we hit the side, the rim of our drum on the one. So it goes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Our third rhythm pattern that we're going to play is where we hit two strokes on the rim and two strokes on the skin of the drum. So we start on the rim and it goes one, two, There we are. Today we have made two different types of drum, a snare drum, a handheld snare and our big bass drum. We've learned three very simple rhythm patterns to get you going and practicing with your drumming and over summer I would like you to join me where we're going to learn lots more different rhythm patterns and we're going to put together a torchlight groove that we're all going to play as part of the tiny torchlight video. Join us on the night of torchlight where you will be invited to bring your drums to your doorsteps and all play in Kendall's biggest samba band. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you in the summer.